HMOC and welcome back to my channel. So you're in an area of the soap studio that you've never seen before. This is the area where I make candles and wax mounts and the such. So I've never shown this before because I actually, when I first started making candles, I promised that I would do a candle video and I'm just now realizing that I never, ever, ever actually made a candle video before so what you're seeing now is the crock pots maybe um, deep fryers that's what they're called deep fryers that I use to melt wax and I have two of them they have different color handles that one's red this one is blue if you remember in the beginning I was making two different types of candles. I was doing soy, 100% soy, and 100% palm. I had a friend who was highly allergic to soy candles, but she wanted candles. So that's why I basically leaned towards doing palm as well as soy, because I was just going to do soy in the beginning. But I did the two. That is in there that you're seeing is the remnants of what's left of the soy in that kettle. And this is the remnants of the palm that you can see in that kettle. And you can see they're noticeably different. This one kind of looks sparkly, kind of like iridescent, like crystals almost. And that's what drew me to this when I first started doing it. The vendor that I had for this, they actually stopped carrying it. So I found a second vendor that wasn't quite as good, didn't... Um, didn't uh, I would say react or didn't I don't know what it was because they were saying it was the exact same palm wax that I was using previously but it just didn't produce the effect that I liked with the first vendor so that first vendor they went and they stopped carrying my palm wax and then they stopped carrying my candle jars and I guess I should have that should have been kind of a red flag for me or two red flags. I did find my candle jar somewhere else, which was just about the same price. And then they stopped carrying my candle labels, which was kind of okay because I was doing something else at that point anyway. So I was like, no big deal. But I had just placed a big order for candle scents, which they had three that I really liked. If you hear the names, you probably know who I'm talking about. The first one was Fresh Baked Pie Crust. The other one was Old Town Bake Shop and Cookie Cottage. Now those were three scents that I loved, 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 and couldn't find them anywhere else. So they actually went out of business came back in business, went back to just fragrances only, no wax, no jars, no labels, no nothing. And I was like, should I order from them really quickly before they run out? Because I don't know what's going on. So I did. And I got a really big order from them of scents. And I'm like, okay, I could rest easy a little bit. But I was like, okay, let me try to find somewhere else to find my scents. For the life of me, I could not find my scents anywhere else. So, when they were having a going out of business sale, once again, they're going out of business, I decided I'm going to try and get at least one of the, the, the fresh baked pie crust. I'm at least trying to get that because the other two they no longer had. So, I tried to get that scent and lo and behold... They went out of business, stopped answering calls, stopped returning emails, and kept my money. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But anyway, thank goodness I did what I did and how I paid, and I was able to be reimbursed that way. I actually went through e um, PayPal, and I, PayPal actually reimbursed me. Maybe they took the money from them. I don't know how it went, but I got my money back. That's all I'm concerned about, because I waited a month because I knew they were going through whatever they were going through and so I waited and then when I tried to contact them 
nobody ever got back to me. But anyway, saying that to say, if you know where I can get these scents or similar scents from, then please just put it in the comments and let me know. So this kettle back here, as I keep focusing on, is how I used to mount my wax previous to these two kettles in front here. Now that's about four pounds and I was doing on that on a double boiler. As you can see the bottom's a little darker. That's as far as my double boiler went up and it took forever and a day to mount. So think about it. I had wholesale orders because that's the only reason I went into this because I had a wholesale customer that was getting soap from me and she wanted me to do candles as well. And I was like, I don't really want to get into candles. She haunted me for a year and a half before I decided to do candles for her. And I had to find another way to melt my wax faster because she was ordering 10 of one cent, 15 of one cent, five of another cent. I mean, orders of 50, 60, 100 candles at a time. There was no way that that was gonna keep up. No way, no way, no how. So when I got these, it was a lifesaver. It really was. So. When my friend saw that I was making candles, she decided she wanted some candles as well. But she, like I said, she couldn't have soy, so that's why I did the palm. I'm I'm not doing palm anymore. I mean, I have some palm wax left. I might do a, a couple of candles for Christmas. That might be her Christmas gift. But otherwise than that, I'm doing 100% soy. So this is the soy that's left there. You can see it's a nice creamy sort of off-white white, white colorant and it's nice and I find it's really good and these I can regulate the temperature so that makes it very good I don't have to keep checking it every two seconds like I did with that one just to make sure it didn't go over the the um, melt point or whatever boiling point whatever they say for that particular wax so this was great I could almost just put this on, get my jars ready, and be good to go. Another thing that when that vendor closed that I needed to get was colorant. Now, I've been making candles for about, uh, I want to say, seven years now. Yeah, it's about seven years now. And you can see, if you can see that, it's about, this is my yellow. It's been well loved. And it's a, probably a maybe a fourth or so before it's empty and as you can see and I haven't made candles today that's just from touching the bottle yeah so that's why my table looks like that if you notice my table my table is I usually line it with um, newspaper and no matter how careful I am I always spill something or something gets spilt or whatever the case may be but if somebody knows where to get liquid colorants from, very concentrated. Like I said, I've been using these for six or seven years, probably closer to seven years now. And literally, this is the lowest bottle. The yellow is the lowest bottle that I have. Everything else is about halfway or so in seven years. This stuff is highly concentrated, and that's what I'm looking for. I don't really want the solids. I've seen solids everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But... I really want the liquid. So if anybody knows where to get those scents from, the fresh baked pie crust, the cookie cottage, or the old Old Town Bakery Shoppy or something it was called. Old Town Bakery Shop B. Yeah, that's what it was called. So colorant and those three scents or anything close thereof to it, it would be greatly appreciated. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And I know it's a plea for help, but if I if I can help someone out, I I would. If you have any questions for me as a as a, as far as candle making or whatever, I'm stuttering over my words and I'm sorry about that. But yeah, as far as candle making and I can help you with it if you want to put it down in the comments, I will just greatly help anyone i would greatly appreciate it if you could just help me out with that if you are a candle maker and you know of any um vendors that could possibly come to the close to those three cents so thank you so much for watching and you have a good day fragrance bottles look like 
if you know this fragrance bottle I'm not going to show the label because the business has gone out of business they're no longer in existence as far as I know but these are the three fragrances two are the same that I was talking about are two of the same yeah two are the same but yeah this is what they look like so if you know these bottles and you know where I can get those scents from please let me know drop it in the comments and I would greatly appreciate it thank you so much bye bye